In this video, I'm going to be showing you some of my favorite new features in Revit 2024. Let's get started. The first new feature that I would like to talk about is the dark theme mode. To enable it, go to the options menu, then colors, Here you have these two themes available. You can choose the dark one. And that's it. To change the background color to white, just go to View tab and click on Canvas theme here. Perfect. So update number two is this new sample project. With Revit 2024, we now have a new sample project called Snowden Towers. And you can see that this is a huge and very detailed project and it has examples of construction documents as well as coordinated structural and MVP files linked. You can spend time studying this project to learn how big projects in Revit are modeled and organized. And I can tell you that you will learn so many things about BIM just by going through this sample project. Now we have feature number three, which is pretty simple yet very useful, especially for the users who use Revit, not only for BIM modeling, but for 3D renderings as well. In Revit 2024, we have a new graphic style called texture. This graphic settings allows you to see your textures without any lighting, which will help you understand how exactly they will look in the rendering. By the way, if you want to learn to create awesome renderings directly inside of Revit, you can check out my beginner and advanced uh, interior rendering courses in which I shared some cool hacks to create amazing interior renderings in Revit. I have advanced exterior modeling courses available on my website as well. And you can get 50% off if you enroll in the 5-in-1 course bundle. Now let's get back to the topic. This feature is about aligning the surface patterns. The align tool now has two new options. The entire surface option can be used on a single surface and the selected face option can be used on multiple faces such as this one. We have a flat surface and a sloped surface here. You can see the pattern here is not aligned with the flat one. To perfectly match both, you can use the selected face option just like this. In Revit 2024, the side tools have also been redesigned and improved a lot. We now have a new tool called Topo Solid to create topography. We just need to draw boundaries just like we do to create floors. Then we can modify sub-elements and add points at different heights to create topography. In Revit 2024, the subdivision tool is also replaced with the subdivide tool. To create a subdivision in Revit 2024, select the topography and click subdivide here. And then just draw the boundaries. And close the editor. You can see it has a thickness. which can be changed here. This would be very useful, especially when you are creating roads and curves. In the earlier versions of Revit, we had a building pad tool to create openings or holes on the topography. In Revit 2024, we need to use in-place mask to do so. Just create the shape you want. Then create a void out of it. and use the cut geometry tool to cut the topography. Perfect. The last feature that I wanted to share with you in this video is about floor-based families. In Revit 2024, floor-based families can be placed on topo solid. You can see that this floor-based family is following the slope as I'm trying to create new ones. 
So these were some of my favorite new features in Revit 2024 and that's all I wanted to share with you in this video and there are some other amazing features as well that I could not cover in this video. Make sure to check out the link in the description to learn more about what's new in Revit 2024. And that's it for this video. I will see you in the next one.